Greetings and welcome to this new jailbreak update video. So in this video, we will briefly discuss about the newly released iOS 17.4 features and moreover, we will discuss in detail what is the possibility for an iOS 17.3.1 and low jailbreak and we will also discuss to why your apps are still crashing on iOS 17.3.1 and lower with the parent beta 9 and the possible solution so as you can see it here that ios 17.4 finally has been released for all your supported devices so we have new emojis and moreover a redesigned battery health settings for your iphone 15 and iphone 15 pro models and for eu we have now the third party app stores also if you want these new emojis for all your old uh, iOS versions. The dedicated guide is in the description for you. Discussing about the security content for iOS 17.4, you can see that this kernel bug has been fixed as you can read it right here. This is the CVE and it can be worked on to get a jailbreak working in the future so yes definitely please do not update to ios 17.4 if you want a jailbreak in the future and you can see this post here discussing cve which was fixed here on ios 17.4 that this can lead to a ppl bypass or even an sptm bypass and it can be a pack bypass or a TXM bypass. Also guys, there is no guarantee that this bug will be released in the future or not, but it has to be worked on and seen what it can do for you. But you should absolutely stay on iOS 17.3.1 and lower if you want a jailbreak in the future. Moreover guys, the bug fixed on iOS 17.4 as you can see this right here this cve looks very very powerful as if it is worked on when it is released it can get you kernel read and write and so on now guys if you have updated to ios 17.4 and you want to go back to ios 17.3.1 yes it is still being signed at the time of making this video so you can get to ipsw dot me it is completely free open it select your device and get the ipsw from here to your pc then you can simply open itunes and please back up your data first then press and hold the shift key on windows and options key on mac and then left click restore and then from here select the ipsw that you just got and hit open to downgrade to iOS 17.3.1. Last but not the least guys, yes, about a few days ago, I made a video on the latest Pelerin Beta 9 and I got a lot of comments that apps are still crashing on iOS 17.3.1 or 17.3. You can see the reason here that there was a bug in the Beta 9 for the Pelerin, but you can see it right here, we have the new beta which is beta 9 update and this should fix your apps crashing on ios 17.0 to 17.3.1 also so please definitely use the new beta 9 you can simply get your files for your mac or linux from here from the official pale range website or the official github page for the pale range jailbreak and also the update to pale next will follow also if you want some details here you can see this official post by the pale Rain team that yes it was a bug and this bootog was not applied properly and the apps were crashing on 17.2 to 17.3.1 also the official post from the pale rain team is here that yes an update to beta 9 has been released which will fix your apps crashing that's all for this jailbreak update if i have more information to share i will definitely do it with you i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself